She's a 103-year-old fixture of college basketball, Sister Jean Dolores Schmidt, better known as Sister Jean, is chaplain of the Loyola Chicago men's basketball team. While her beloved Ramblers didn't reach this year's NCAA March Madness, we asked her thoughts about the team, love of the game, and her new book. Sister Jean, it's great to have you with us. I'm a big fan of yours and uh, so much to get to first, but first, you're a sister of charity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and how does a nun become such a force, a figure in the world of men's college basketball? Well, it was sort of a serendipitous, I think, <laughs> because I, I'm the chaplain to the men's basketball team, and they're the ones who got us there, Porter Moser and... Um, um, the team got us there in the final four in 2018. And that sort of just caught on. And people say, how come you, you know, you got this all of a sudden? And I said, well, I think because I'm old, because I'm a nun, <laughs> and because, I, because it's a nun being the chaplain to the men's basketball team. And it's, you know, every team at Loyola has a chaplain, but I, right now there are just a couple of us who are women chaplain and scholastics are chaplains, and so we, we do what we can with them, and they respond, and that's what we need to do. Amen to that. Now, did you always have a love for sports? Uh, I understand that you were a pretty good basketball player yourself, huh? Oh no, I wasn't pretty good at all. <laughs> I didn't. Learn. I didn't learn about basketball until I went to high school. When I went to high school, then there was a possibility of what we call today club um, sports. So that's what I was on. The other girls had experience in some of their elementary schools, so they were on varsity. Wonderful. So I was different. <laughs> well, let's get to your book. You know, you co-authored with uh, sports writer Seth Davis. It's called Wake Up With a Purpose, What I've Learned in My First 100 Years. Sister Jean, what have you learned in your first century of life? Well, that would probably take me more than we have time for today. <laughs> Some of uh, the things I've, I've learned, uh, I've learned what not to do, and I've learned what to do. So there are two ways of learning and having experiences. Uh, through my life, I've been very uh, fortunate to come from a good Catholic family where my mom taught us very early in life that um, God loved us. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, your dad and I love you, but God loves you even more than we do. And so you have to love God, too. So we used to, before we went to bed, we used to tell God uh, that we loved him. And that just was a wonderful way for us to start our lives. Well, unfortunately so, this year, your Ramblers uh, did not make it to the cut this season, I, but uh, since they're out of it, I tell you what, I'm, I'm making out my bracket right now. And uh, Sister Jean, I need some divine intervention of, of, of what's uh, kind of intervene for me and tell me what does uh, your bracket look like? Well, you know, I was sort of disappointed when I saw how some of these schools were matched when they, when they put a, a 16 against a one. I don't pay attention to those numbers anyhow. I pay attention to what I see, what I have seen on uh, television of the games. Yeah, Sister so, Jean, who do you have winning it all? Well, yeah, that's been hard. <clears throat> I I really want I really wanted want Kentucky to win because Kentucky sported us through the final four and I, I think it's my turn to our turn to support Kentucky. But I I don't have them winning. I have Alabama wow. winning. Wow. Okay. Alabama Alabama, Kentucky, Houston, and Kansas in the final four. Wow. Well, you heard it here, folks. Uh, pick your brackets uh, if you want to uh, hang out with <laughs> Sister Jean. Well, I tell you what, Sister Jean, it's an honor to speak with you tonight. Thank you so much, and God bless you. And God bless you, too, and the work that you do at your station.